The theme of this conference is understanding the times and seasons so that you can know what to do. This is in reference to the sons of Issachar as recorded in 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And I'm sure you've heard reference to that all week. But I want to restate it. It says that these people, this clan of Israel, had a unique position in the sense that they were able to comprehend or understand or read or perceive the times or the season in which they were living in. And they were able to tell the entire nation what to do. The implication is, if you don't know what time it is, you don't know what to do. It also implies, if you don't know what time it is, you're probably doing the wrong thing. And you're probably doing it with the wrong person. When you know the season and the times, then you know what to do. I want to begin with a few statements, if you wish you can record these. If life is measured in terms of time, then time wasted is life abused. Wasted time is wasted life. Don't hide your face from it, Lord. Time without purpose is life without meaning. Jehovah, thy face. We measure our short, brief sojourn on earth in terms of time. What is time? Time is an interruption in eternity. Time is a brief moment in eternity with measure. Why did God create time? What was his purpose for creating time? God created time he put men in time, but he doesn't live in it. So you got to be careful when you're dealing with God. Because God created the stuff that he doesn't live in. And he put us in it to live in it. So when God deals with us, he is able to see the end from the beginning, even in the middle. So when he talks to you, he's really talking about something you're headed to. So when God says, be cool, you know it's going to be all right because he knows what's coming. And if God said, prepare yourself, he's also telling you something's coming, you better tie yourself down. Because he always sees the end from the beginning. That's why he's called the Alpha and the Omega. But why did God create time? I'd like to draw your attention to a familiar passage, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, one of my favorite chapters because to me this chapter reveals a struggle but I want you to check verse 1 and it tells you why God gave you time it says to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven let's check it again because it's very serious it says to everything there is what a season that means everything has a season everything has a season if it's a thing it has a season the next line says unto every purpose there's a time under heaven God is saying that everything that he created has a purpose and that purpose for which it was created has a time attached to it to fulfill its reason for being. So everything that exists on this planet, including you, 
was brought into existence for a purpose and that purpose has a season attached to it and there's a time within which that thing supposed to fulfill its purpose therefore time was created for purpose to be fulfilled please make a note of that time was created for purpose to be fulfilled this also implies that whenever there is something that God creates on this planet he attaches a time to it and I like the way it's written in this verse it says unto every purpose under heaven there's a time there's a time for every purpose under heaven there is a time that means there is a certain allotted period of time that means you were born to do something and you don't have forever to do it all you get is a season when God took you out of eternity and put you in time he locked you down under a season which means you don't have the time to waste time because time doesn't wait till you discover your purpose if you don't know why you was born time is still moving and if you discover your purpose at 90 years old it's too late that's why the Bible says in the same book in the 12th chapter remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth why because you want to discover God so you can discover his purpose for your life while you're young so you can use your life effectively time was given to fulfill purpose time was manifested to operate in seasons it's a very important point time manifests itself in seasons please write that down time is a complete period of duration that God placed us in but that time manifests itself in seasons for example our year may be measured in terms of winter spring summer and fall but all of that is the year so the year is the time but the manifestation is the seasons and when seasons change within time you got to change with the seasons stay with me here that means everyone's born in time but everybody got to catch their season when winter comes you don't wear a swim trunk hello and when summer comes you don't put on your mink in other words when seasons change you got to adjust yourself so all of it is time but it manifests itself in seasons now every season according to God supposed to fulfill a specific period of purpose in your life how does God measure time that's an important question how does God measure your life the answer is simple he measures your life in terms of purpose God does not measure your life by your chronological age personally God doesn't care how old you are God's not impressed that you are 70 as a matter of fact growing old could incriminate you because God's question is never how old are you you'll never see that in the Bible God's question is what did you do Lord have mercy I've met people who've been so proud of their age and they've said things like this they've said well brother miles I'm 98 years old today praise God and it's so good to know God kept me alive and I'm an old saint praise the Lord been going to church for a thousand years amen being a good member there for 98 years praise God and then my question is what did you do with the 98 you see life is not measured by duration but by donation let me try one more time your life should not be measured by duration but by donation it's not how long you lived it's what did you do while you were living the the, the conclusion of Jesus in judgment is not well said good and faithful servant
God's not impressed with your gray hair. He's not impressed with your no hair. God wants to know what did you do while it was falling out? Jesus said the answer in judgment shall be well done good and faithful servant so your life should be measured not by how long you live but how effectively you, you, you live 